call me anything. Call me this. Call me that. But don't call me Ray. Who is Ray? I don't know. I don't know what he was. Just don't call me that. I don't know. I don't know. Now, the picture on the side of that U.S. Foods truck is blurry. Or is it just me? Well, yeah. Something, especially those first three. I mean. Now, that one over here looks pretty good. Seriously, what's up with that? Oh, it might help if you get on the right side of the road, sister church chat granny. Is that place closed? I don't know. It looks closed. Now, why would the Steak and Shake be closed? Don't nobody want Oh, no... it's got lights on. Don't nobody want no yeah. Steak and Shake today? No, there's... Oh, there's one car. Probably the cooks. <laughs> there ain't too many people at the Red Lobster either. Well, What's going on, church chat granny? They must... Everybody's frozen. Well, They're they... all at home. And they've got their survival kits. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't watch the news, so anything mm, could be going on. Right. We need to go check out this deliverance church and see if uh, it really is the one that you're thinking it is. Where the preacher right. and the whole congregation fell into, fe they fell into to sexual stand. immorality. Woo! It is beautiful out. 37 degrees. And it has went down 2 degrees since we were in um, McAllister's. It was 39. Wow. But you know it's going down to 28 degrees tonight. Yes, um... Well, I'll tell you what. For it being a Saturday, there ain't a whole lot of people out. Well, I think that's kind of good. That's good for us. We ain't gonna fight the traffic. Mm -hmm. And they need to be home and be worshiping the Lord and thanking Him for heat and food. And I did that even last night. I do that all the time, though. What? Thank Him for thanking Him and praising Him. Yes, for you know a roof and water and food and and sheets, clean sheets. Oh yes, that feels so uh, good. They, you know. The yeah. kind that you just love to put your leg over. And, uh, and I just you, love mm. my memory foam. And everything. Just thanking him. And here was... Holy Spirit. Yes. And for food, you can just go in there and... Lord, we just thank you and, and praise you. Fix just about anything you want. But we are so fortunate in this country. Oh, we are so blessed. And so many people have no clue that, that Jesus is uh, the one that is sustaining them and maintaining them. Yes, and, and uh, we have absolutely... They want to bow down to Mother Earth. Mother Earth, mm. you are a demon goddess named mm. Gaia. Mm. You ain't playing this little game with... Look, this girl is in church. And going to be up all night long looking into Wicca and then saying, uh, There's Wicca's not witchcraft. It's just love of Mother Earth and worship of nature. What do y'all think idolatry is? We talking about hardcore idolatry, not just softcore idolatry. That's the difference between softcore porn and soft and hardcore porn guys it's either it's either or it's still pornography it's still idolatry and then you got somebody walking on the side of the road ain't got a ain't got a just, hello this is not a pedestrian zone he's got a big old jukebox <laughs> Well, I hope he don't start break dancing right in the middle of the bridge. Do y'all know what idolatry is? No. It's a worship of another entity other than God. Exactly. In Romans chapter 6 verse 16 it says, Whoever you yield your members to, you are a slave servant of. So if you yield your members, your body parts to a demon god that's idolatry so if you gotta go get another hit of marijuana if you gotta smoke another cigarette or 
bad. You gotta drink your 14th cup of caffeine today and get you three or four Red Bulls. If you're cheating and lying and stealing, okay? You're bowing to the spirit behind that action. And it's not the sin nor the action. It is the spirit that you're bowing to behind that action. If you're addicted to pornography, then you're bowing to a spirit of perversion. That's idolatry. Not the sin itself. That's sin. There's a difference between sin and idolatry. God hates idolatry. He's a jealous God. Yes. Okay? And I don't care what you know, Oprah said when she uh, she heard that God was a jealous God. Jesus. Wake up! He's jealous over what is his. Not in a bad way, but in a healthy way. Just like a man or a, a woman would be jealous over their husband or wife in a healthy way to protect them, nurture them, love them, and keep themselves to them and only to themselves. Not in some foolish uh, um, foolish. <laughs> foolish, outrageous, angry jealousy, some weird kind of jealousy, yes, but a healthy anger. jealousy, yes, right. okay, um, a protecting sort of jealousy, like a mother would be jealous over her children, not jealous because they had a friend, but because she's a protector. Y'all just need to look up the meaning. The tradition. Understand that God is a jealous God and he's going to protect what is his and he's not going to share it with anybody. He's not a two-year-old that won't share his toy. He's the creator. So if you're practicing hardcore idolatry, quit trivializing what you think idolatry is. Because it's basically true hardcore idolatry is you bowing to another God other than the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Creator. Yes. Yeah. Man, I feel like preaching. Wow. No, I'm just, I'm like, I'm ready to just smack somebody because they're saying Jesus out of their face and they're full of it. They're not worshiping the Lord. They're worshiping themselves and they want to date Jesus but they don't want to put a ring on their finger and make a commitment and consummate the marriage. Oh my gosh, y'all need to wake up. Mm. Tell him. Mm. Oh, he's going to wake them up all right. It's going to come. When it's, they least expect it. Exactly. Exactly like a thief in the night. You, need, you really seriously need to pray for me. Yeah. Are you in the spirit of slap? Spirit of slap needs to be. Mm. Hey. Let it, let it come, Lord. Yes. Give me the holy boldness to stand up to the. That's it. We've got to have boldness. And and the reason that we seem upset is because of the stupid spirits. Well, be they're the, you know because the, they don't know. They really when he says. My children has no knowledge or wisdom or anything like that. That's really true. They don't. They just think they know. And that's what it upsets, I think, upsets us because what comes out of their mouth, they're so foolish. Well, half the time, they don't even realize a demon is speaking through their no, lips. No, they don't. I'm like, I can tell when it's a human and when it's a, when it's demonic. It's like, I, I'll look at them like, do they even know that the, do they even know that the enemy's speaking through them? No, they don't. Well, they really don't. I'm fixing to get me some McDonald's, um, what? espresso. I hope the machine is working today. No. It's working. It's working. It better. We're going to try a different McDonald's. Oh, that's the reason. We know the other one's working. Well, We kept telling them it wasn't working. <laughs> and then finally, finally, I guess. After, after the third try. Well, and oh, several. No beans the, there, was no, there was no beans. And they've been searching.
serving nothing but water and, and cream. And people drinking it, and paying three dollars and twenty something cents a cup for a hot caramel macchiato, and it's just nothing but steamed milk and water. And I'm like, there ain't no coffee in Every here. Every time we come in here, we get this. It's the same thing. So I'm gonna try this McDonald's and see if they got any espresso. Okay. Yeah. Y'all yeah, pray for me. I'm going to go in there and ask if they got any beans in their hopper before they make my hot caramel macchiato. Oh, this is the McDonald's where that dirty old man oh, was at. Oh, yeah, that nasty old uh, nasty yeah. frog. Well, we got him. We got frog man told off, didn't we? Sure did. In the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. in a nice way. We didn't tell him off, saints. We just rebuked the yeah. spirit of perversion and in told him. him and called it out and told him, "You don't talk to us like that. That's nasty. You don't have. You don't talk to holy women, women of God no. like that. Like that old man did today. I put him. I. You mm -hmm. do not talk to us in that way. We're not going to listen. We're to holy it. women of God, and you ain't. That's ugly. He goes, don't oh. let people talk to you any old way. He goes, oh. I didn't know that. Well, you do yeah, now. He's a preacher. And he said, How's he not going to know it? Well, because he's got by Of course, with you it. know, like the young man told us, mm -hmm. we're attractive and we're, you know, we're, we're attractive, holy women of God. I like to slap the hell out of them. <laughs> you think... I'm 52 years old. She's 72 years old. We don't need y'all telling us how beautiful are we are. We know how beautiful we are. That's it right. is the glory and the essence of the Most High God. And I don't need a pastor to come on me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get slapped. So we get a 25-year-old meth head and then an 85-year-old pastor. So they're all in between. I don't know. He might be 90. I didn't know. He looked old to me. He's... Look a lot older than you. Oh, yeah, he did. You're young. You're only 72. Seriously, people. If you go out and you preach the gospel, mm -hmm. expect the devils to manifest. Mm -hmm. So you better be prayed up and you better be stayed up and with the Lord. And don't hit up on godly women or women, period. You will get hit back with it is written. Especially from godly women. Because we'll oh, yeah. stop you right there and tell you, no, you don't talk to us that way. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You pull your pants uh -uh. up and go on. Yeah. They shouldn't even have their pants down. No, but... it. I'm speechless for once in my life. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. It, hey, I'll give him credit. His pants are all the way up. Yeah, he just walking funny. Praise the Lord. I hope he makes it to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> if that's where he's going. Uh, do you sure uh, you want to go in there? After that, seeing that? I don't know. I might want to go through the drive-thru. Well, let's do that. Yeah. Then the only you know thing it. is, well, you get to look at it and see. Because you yeah. can tell by just opening it up and look if it's yeah. coffee. We better go in. Yes. Because if this, the other place had no beans, I'm sure they, 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 they these guys got to have some beans. Well, they just don't do the coffee machines, right? Father, we fixing to get some So good if you coffee. get coffee that looks, that don't taste right and it, watery with a lot of cream in it. <laughs> they didn't put no beans in it. They didn't put no hopper. beans in it. <laughs> she comes around and like, I think that's the problem. There ain't no, there ain't no beans. I'm like, <laughs> You made me three cups of coffee and ain't no coffee in the... And it's called coffee beans. <laughs> <laughs> Not jelly beans. Coffee. <laughs> we want coffee beans. Not jelly beans. Not jelly beans. They all got coffee beans in there or jelly a beans? Jelly I'm going to go in there and ask them. All right, let's do it. All right. It's Sister with a Testimony and Sister with a Testimony Church Chat. Granny. Bye-bye. Coffee. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Coffee. Saturday. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm trying to push the button and it won't stop. It's still recording. How do you know? Get it. 